I wanted to share with you a thought, my private thought that I used to think to myself to get out of overspending and later out of overeating and emotional eating. So, um, you know, as we go to the stores, we think different thoughts like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, I need it. And the truth is, I don't. So the thought I practiced was, just because you like it, it doesn't mean you have to have it. Just because you love it, it doesn't mean you have to buy it. You can still love it there in the window of the store, but you don't really have to buy it. So what's also important is what's underneath this message, because the energy, how you think it to yourself also matters very much to what will be the final effect because you can um, think it to yourself with the meaning in between the lines that you cannot afford it and it's for other people. No, 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 we don't do that. That would imply that you have a sense of deprivation. You don't want that. Actually, the opposite is true. Just because you love it, it doesn't mean you have to buy it between the lines because you are already worthy. You don't need another accessory you don't need another item. Sometimes we want to buy a beautiful thing because we will feel more confident and attractive. But the truth is, you probably already have enough things in your closet. So as I was walking away from a store, often I would have a feeling of wholeness and worthiness. The sense of confidence is even greater because it comes from me and not from buying this additional accessory. So how did I apply it to overeating, specifically to eating too many, too much sweets? I would come to the store, uh, to the grocery store, to the place where they have these beautiful pastries and I would just look at them because we shop with our eyes, we eat with our eyes. And I would just think to myself, just because it looks good, it doesn't mean you have to eat it. Just because you like it, it doesn't mean you have to buy it. Besides, the stuff looks 100 times better than it actually tastes. And it's another proof that we eat with our eyes. So I would just eat with my eyes without buying anything. And it worked how... I think that, yeah, it works 100% of the time. So maybe there is something that you are trying not to buy compulsively maybe there is something that you know you shouldn't be eating but you still eat it and it's bad for you try to apply this thought just because you want it it doesn't mean you have to have it because you are already whole and worthy that was joanna from the path of fulfillment.com where we try to find fulfillment on the level of the soul, not on the level of sugar. Have a wonderful day.